the audio bits. Make sure we turn that off so we don't get any weird stuff coming back at me. And uh, here we go. Here's me beautiful table. Adjust my microphone a little bit here so it's kind of up in my face. Uh, I've imported a PDF. This is called The Scroll Thief. You can find this online at the GM's Guild, different places like that. But this is the next adventure in Season 1 of the Adventures League for 5th edition when it first came out. You'll see that it uh, debuted August 29th, 2014. I got back in D&D. Back in the day, my kid was about... Oh, my kid was 13 when I started doing this stuff. And then uh, I was running at my local gaming store doing this stuff. But I liked it so much. It was so much fun that I decided to redo it in a new system that I play in called ICRPG. So here we are. Uh, what are we, six years later? I'm rerunning the first season because I think it's fantastic. And not only am I rerunning it, but I am rerunning it online for a group of friends using a different system, a little bit of conversion, and using Tabletop Simulator. So, in this map, or in this adventure, uh, we are running this. This is my workshop uh, adventure. I'm going to set this into the town of New Haven. You can check out New Haven in my other videos. But uh, essentially on my work table, this is just where I build things. There's not a lot of stuff on the outside, so things load a little quicker. There isn't a lot of junk and whatnot, so... Um, it's nice and clean, and it's easy to work on things. Uh, if we go back to uh, my Blue Sword Desert, uh, this is just a sort of parent mode map, and uh, the stuff I'm working on, I want to show you first, is Library Basement. Smash the build button. This sucker build for half a second. The internet does some things. And... Wow, this one takes a while. I haven't tried loading this while I'm running OBS and doing other stuff. Should be finished. Finish building. Okay, so the, so the gist of this adventure is some guy's going around town and he's stealing stuff. If, if you're my player or playing my game, do not watch. This is this is the point at which you got to bail because that much you already know from the last game. So the old scroll thief's going around town. So I got a town. My town's called New Haven. Uh, inside this town, it, which is investigating the thefts, they're approached by um, a lead bureau, or Burrall, Knight Burrall. And uh, she asks them to investigate a series of stolen um, items and stuff like that. So they got to go to a couple of different places. Now, Mantor's library in my game is going to be uh, is going to be called Lauren Latte. That's uh, Theo, the the scribe master or lore master of my town. Uh, once they uh, Aya Glenmere is just a person in town, right? So she's just a wizard. So I've got a I've got this uh, wizard or conquer doodle guy growing in or working in New Haven, growing. I'm growing. I'm growing a wizard. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm going to convert this over to that person, and then the last one I've got is this Martin Foss guy, who is like a dwarven warrior guy that challenges him to a fight or lets his daughter fight and stuff like that. And anyways, I'm going to make this guy. Uh, Taz Staslap, which is uh, the dude that runs Cockburn Groceries. In the last game that they played, they pissed him off, so it's going to be really difficult for my players to get Taz to or yeah, Taz Taz to do anything for them. And then uh, Agen Lamrak Lamarck is going to be um, this noble guy that sits up on top of the. He's got this little mansion and whatnot, and he just sits there and he spits down on my players every time they walk by, and he calls them names as he sips his tea, tells them, you know, that they're peasants and stuff like that. Uh, there is a little ambush in this edition for Ambush Alley, and uh, this is going to be quite straightforward. I'm just going to just going to attack them when they're walking down the middle of the street. They're going to get jumped on, so I don't have to do any maps for that. I'm just going to use the base street map that I'll show you here uh, in a little bit. Uh, here's the ambush part of it, which is pretty straightforward. And then uh, they go to Mantor's library after getting some information. They're going to end up going to my library in-game, 
which is what which is what I'm doing here. So I haven't built the library in my game, but I wanted to. So they'll meet Casper Brandywine. They'll talk to her. Um, Master Open All or Open Real will be another guy that they'll meet inside there and stuff. But then the gist of this is they just basically look around to do some stuff, try and persuade some people. There's you know a little gist of that, and then. Um, when they come to looking for some books or something like that, they are going to go down like a hallway and some staircases and they're going to end up in sort of the underground area, which is what I don't have. Like I don't have the inside of Lauren Latte and I don't have the underground area. So I wanted to build something like that. So what I would normally do is I would just go to the workshop and I would type in library, but there is a lot of junk inside of, uh, tabletop simulator and a lot of these things are broken they're very cool like this D&D archive museum thing is pretty sweet but some links are broken and stuff like that it's kind of a pain in the ass so what I like to do is find tables that sort of half work or work well enough and then I just hack and slash them to sort of my own my own preferences uh, what I've built out of this is uh, this is uh, Theo's the inside of Lauren Latte you would you would enter in why did it select that piece you would enter in and there's a little, uh, uh, what do you call this, a little barista. You, you know, you see him in parking lots at like the Walmart and stuff like that. So Theo works the Lauren Latte. You come in, you need a book. You sit down, grab a book, grab some latte. And uh, yeah, this is the inside of, of that. There's some nice cushy couch, uh, couches over here. Same on this side. You got books, you got bookcases. You know, it's supposed to be a library kind of a thing where they hold some information and stuff like that, right? Okay. So once you go from the inside of it and you start going down the staircase, uh, my player's going to come in. They're going to do some stuff with uh, Theo, talk to him. And then I've got Fog of War. Now I use these great big blocks just to cover stuff up because I find it to be the easiest way to get Fog of War done. Uh, it's nice because when my players open up the door and they go down to the basement, I can just smash the delete key. And now I have the sub-basement archives. Now, some stuff happened in the sub-basement archives. If hinges worked inside of Tabletop Simulator and saved, we'd be laughing. But unfortunately, they don't. So you kind of got to smash the uh, the F8 button twice. And then we're just going to rotate this stupid door out of the way. Something like that. And then just move it a little bit so that it looks. This is what I'm going to end up having to do in-game in because... But there, there actually, there's easier ways to do this. You can, you can put doors in places that open and close just with a flick of a switch, right? So they come in, they go down here, they're like, oh, what's going on? There's a bunch of uh, broken stuff. It looks like a fight's broken out. Things are knocked over. And, uh, you know, there's, there's just general disarray. Well, it turns out that the guy that was stealing everything came into the library. He was looking for something specific inside of here. Uh, got in a fight with one of the people that worked here. She'll be slain on the ground, but she's not currently on this map. And they used a horn of blasting to blast this wall. And then when they come down and they and they start investigating, they'll find her back here as they walk through and stuff like that. Um, but as they do so, they'll come to this back little area here where he had blown a hole in this wall. Now inside the inside the adventure, as you're reading through it, you'll see there's the body examining the books you can find a little bit about more what he was about what he was doing uh, and then there's another explosion that opens up the back part of the room uh, and so it does say in here that um, there was like an old some stuff's hat some stuff happened down in the archives uh, where is it right here yeah anyways the gist of it is he uses the horn twice once to get into this room where you know way back in the foundings of flan there was uh, they stored some stuff in here, some of the archmages or whatever, and uh, it's not on the it's not on the maps. But the guy that was going through here found it. Um, so he blasted his way in here. He looted this chest, took a bunch of stuff, blasted another hole in the back wall, and from here the players can hear noise that sounds like running water. So they go through this hole in, in you know in the in the chase kind of a thing, and uh, we end up at uh, the spillway. Uh, you could so th th that'll all rebuild itself, right? So we're going to build the spillway. Uh, in that room, th there was uh, some seedy stuff, the seedy stuff room that happened. There's a couple of shadows that they're going to have to fight to get by it. 
Uh, I wish I could find in here where it said why that was there. But there is like a full on reason as to why that was there. There's a little bit of backstory about why th there's this sort of weird room. But it has something to do with um, when power switched hands. They wanted to burn a bunch of books that had to do with um, like the Red Wizards of Thay or something like that. Right. So there was that. That's that's the, the reason for the second room. Um. But yeah, so they, they, they chase this guy through that room. He, he, he sort of gets away, but he's with the noise he makes, he's leading them to this area here. Once they fight the shadows, which I'm going to use different creatures, I'll use uh, something straight out of ICRPG. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, my players will then chase them down into the sewers. This is a little map called the Spillway. Now this map actually comes with... Uh, let's pop this out onto the screen. You should be able to see this. And then if we go to the to the very last one, here's the actual map that I took, which is the spillway. And uh, I cut out a bunch of stuff and edited it in GIMP a little bit, left some of the rocks and whatnot in, took out the grid and uh, set it up inside the tabletop simulator so that you can see it's kind of the same deal. A little bit of uh, artsy fartsy skills and talents that I don't really have because I'm not that talented. I uh, created this, so my players will come in sort of in the middle. Uh, the spillway, the gist of the spillway is that um, the water comes in and everything sort of spills down into here, and then out here where they would jump into, this this comes out into the side of a mountain, the side of a cliff or whatever, and then drops into the river, and then it just gets carried out to the to the waterway, right? This is just a sewer spillway. Uh, so in here, I'm going to throw some creatures at them that they have to duke out while they try and chase this guy. And then um, the adventure will end with, uh, well, who knows, because I haven't actually put it in there. And my players have a tendency to not get very far. But don't say anything, but there's a dragon. Rinthax Black Dragon Wormling. And he's going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to F my players up with some of the stuff that this guy's going to be able to do, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I do believe that here is a map of the Dragon Swamp, so this will be next. So this this adventure is almost like completely ready to go. I just have to do this little thing here, which is uh, make a swamp, put a little sort of cave on it with a little island and a fire. And then this is where my players will eventually meet the guy that they're chasing and confront him and the dragon. And that's sort of how the adventure goes. They get the stuff, the information, and figure out that he's doing some stuff for the dragon cult. So I'll make these maps available. That's it for this video. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. Here's the spillway. If you need like an underground sewer kind of um, close-up battle map sort of a thing, this is a, a good one to use. I released some sewer stuff last week. Um, those sewer maps were the reason. This map was the reason I thought to release those ones. I realized that I hadn't done it. But uh, if you have the intention of ever playing this um this map, Scroll Thief, I think it was called. Let's go right back to the beginning. There we go, the Scroll Thief. Adventure DDX1, so it's Season 1, uh, number 6. And then this is going to be the next one that I run them through. So those two maps will be available. You have the library, um, the, the bottom part that he chases them into, and then the little back room and stuff, and I'll build the swamp, and it'll all be put together, and we'll call her done. A couple of new maps. There you go. All right. Peace out, everybody.